Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sounds of NorCal. I am here at First Festival with Peter Holden and Mike Stoner of Peter Holden. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. And and they just got done playing here at First Festival. Did you have a good time? I did. It was awesome. It was really nice of Danielle to invite us out and play. And um, we just we love playing original stuff. You know, it's great to play my songs and. Mike uh, has been a buddy of mine for a while. I, he heard me playing a song in a bar one night and was like, he really liked it, and we've been buddies ever since. Awesome. So how long has that been? Um, two years. Two years, yeah. About two years, yeah. So can you kind of describe the music for the people who are watching? Um, I describe it as uh, pop rock, or if that's too wimpy, I call it power pop. So what do you think about that? Like, we're influenced, you're mainly influenced by Jimmy Eat World and yeah. Rick Springfield. Matchbox 20, Maroon 5. Am I missing any? Maroon 5. I don't know about Maroon 5. I wouldn't say Maroon 5, but Rick Springfield's one of my favorites. And like he says, all you just use four chords and you got a hit. Awesome. Are you going out to see Rick Springfield at Thunder Valley? So that'll be like my 12th time seeing it. I wasn't even a Springfield fan until like two years ago. So, I mean, I, I can't wait to see him again. I was way back in the day, but I have friends who have loved him consistently you know and so I'm super excited for that show that'll be fun so what do you think about the first festival I love it you know I wish I had not eaten before I came here because they have Jim Boy's tacos over there <laughs> they have the best food they do they do that's like one of the things I miss so much about Sacramento is like Jim Boy's tacos I was addicted to those things so it's it's a good addiction to have though it's a you got to run a lot afterwards Right. Well, if you stay long enough, you could probably sample everything. I know. We might have to do that. I have to drive back to Sacramento, not Sacramento, San Francisco. Uh, but it's so good to be back. Like, I, we play a song called Midtown that I wrote. And, I mean, it's just, I love this town. I love this area. So any opportunity to play a festival here is just awesome. Well, excellent. We're glad to have you here. You're from here? Yeah, I live in Midtown. I live in Midtown, not far from here. So you wrote the song about him? I did, I did. You know, he, Mike and I had a, a great first meeting experience, and then I went right home and cranked the song out, sent it to him, and he got really scared. And then I had to talk him into playing with me, but it all worked out okay. So it's kind of a stalker thing going on here. <laughs> I don't even know how to follow that joke. <laughs> so we're, we're being serenaded by Facing the Horizon. They're, they're an awesome young band and uh, super supportive of the scene. And... Um, so uh, have you met a lot of other musicians out here? Yeah, I've been playing in bands around here since uh, 2009 or so. So I know probably someone in half of the bands that are playing. I'm not, uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm not to say about that. Yeah. I'm not like most of them. I'm, I have a day job and I'm not as cool as them. So <laughs> I'm just happy to be in a band where I'm not the coolest guy in the band. Wow, that's high praise. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like to be the coolest guy in the band. That's why my old band broke up. <laughs> so I got nothing on that. So, <laughs> But I want to thank you guys for stopping by the sofa and saying hi. And we'll um, send people your direction and help them find you on social media, Reverb Nation, wherever you, yeah, your music is. PeterHoldenMusic.com. PeterHoldenMusic.com, Facebook. I've got a new album coming out called Imperfections. I've got a couple albums on iTunes. Check it out. You'll love them. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, guys.